Even if you don't know a lot of words in Japanese, you can use this technique. Welcome to this channel. I'm Yuki. You can call me Yuki Sensei or Yuki. And I have a, I have my student here, Liz, Liz chan, ne, Liz chan. Mm. Mm. And she's learning Japanese. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> in here, in this series, I'm going to teach you Japanese and teach her Japanese at the same time. And I'm going to be answering questions that you guys have, so you can drop them in comments. Questions or topics like, how do I sound more like a native speaker? In Japanese, some days I can teach you guys some slangs and stuff. But without further ado, we're going to be starting our first class. Also, let me know in the comment section if you guys like this series and if we want to see more. So, anyways, our Sound. theme, what our theme of our videos, our class is gonna. It's S O U N D. How how to sound more like a native speaker? How to sound more? S O U. <laughs> so, <laughs> just erase it. Fuck it, erase it over there. And our theme is going to be focused on this topic, okay? Mm -hmm. Throughout those videos, those classes, ne? how to get you to become more natural in Japanese, you and them, okay? Today's first topic is about this one. What is this in Japanese? I knew you were going to say that. Mm. Yeah. Did you add the tsu or totemo or just totemo? Mm. Either one is okay. And this is the one that all the Japanese learners learn as very. Okay? But the truth is, we don't really use it. I don't use it. I don't use this one. This one here, to me, it sounds very formal. Totemo. Mm. It's like you're wearing a suit, for example, you know? You don't feel that comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like that. So, you're probably wondering, yeah, you guys are probably wondering too, what do we use instead? What are some examples that we can use as very in Japanese? Mecha. Mm, so, 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 so. Yeah, the one I use every day. Yeah. Yeah? Mecha. My students use it a lot. Yeah? Yeah, mm. they tell me about everything and they always say mecha and I'm like, <laughs> very something, okay? Mm hmm, exactly. Yeah, she's an English teacher, and she works with children, and everyone uses it. Mecha. Mm. Mm, mecha. Mecha or mecha kucha, or mecha mecha. Ne? Truth is, this word originally came from Kansai area. Ne? You know how the Japanese culture with the TV show, you know? There's a lot of Kansai people on the show. When you watch comedy, uh, some people say mecha or mecha kucha or mecha mecha mm. there's so many ways to say it but this is essentially the same meaning yeah. mecha I think I use this one the most or maybe this one mm. both yeah they mean the same thing yeah. mecha very it's just when you speak in Japanese or when you speak in any language you know you say whatever rolls off better you know rolls off good in your mouth and Japanese the rhythm in your mouth when you speak it's very important for example if I'm saying very tasty what's tasty? Oishi. so 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 oishi atoa what else? oishi meaning tasty yummy <laughs> Nice try. Umai. <laughs> this one here is a little bit more slangy idea of oishi. It's not quite a slang slang because people use it all the time. So it's like a slangy idea to it, like oishi, umai. You can change, you can um, use it alternatively. Yeah. But I stick to this one if I'm speaking formal with someone. Yeah. Oishi. But anyways, so. Mecha oishi. I like to use this one with oishi. Mecha oishi because it's easier to say. It's the easiest way to say it for me. Ne? But for some people, maybe they like to say mecha oishi like that. Ne? It just depends on where you grow up and how you've been speaking. Ne? So anything is okay ne? with this one. It's all about the rhythm. It's very important. Yeah, take notes ne? somewhere, guys. Like. 
rhythm in your mouth when you speak in Japanese is very important. I tell my students all the time. And understanding that rhythm is very important when you speak in Japanese, it's going to help you so much. Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about the rhythm stuff too in our future lessons too. So, yeah, just stay tuned for that. What else is possible as very? Do you know any? Drop them in the comment section if you guys know. Mecha, or how about this? Sugoi. Sugoi. You might hear it sometimes, like in movies and like in anime and stuff. Sugoi, sugoi. They use it like amazing, awesome, wow. Sugoi, sugoi. And you can use this one as very. As well, there's so many ways to say very in Japanese, and this is these are just some stuff of them. Okay, so knowing this, if you want to say it's very tasty, you can say sugoi oishi or sugoi umai. Sugoi umai. And last but not least, let me teach you a secret weapon. When you don't know, like you know, when you're speaking, you just forget, you know, what you're gonna say, right? And you can't like think of like, oh, oh, should I use this word, this word, this word, you know? So I'm going to give you a secret weapon you can use. You can use this pretty much any time, yeah. If you're confused with what to use, oishi, yeah, that's tasty, right? Oishi, and you don't need to add anything if you pronounce it. Oishi, oishi, or umai, umai, umai. It's the way you say it. A lot of people, a lot of Japanese learners, they get confused and they get overwhelmed when they're trying to speak Japanese. But you don't really need to add anything, you know? You don't really need to add anything. If you're speaking quickly, if you're excited, you know? Because you can just pronounce it. Umai, umai. The same in any language, right? They tend to forget that, you know? That you can enunciate, you can add your feelings to it to make it very oishi. And I use this one all the time. I tell you as a Japanese speaker, you know? Oishi, oishi. Because when you're saying stuff, there isn't always time to say the whole thing, you know? It's the same thing with other stuff as well. Like, for example, saying, it's really fun. You can just say, tanoshi. Tanoshi, you know? Tanoshi. Add your feelings to it. Ne? That makes it very. And we use this, we say it like this all the time, you know? Ne? You hear me say those words, you use those words all the time, right? Ne? Mm. Yeah. You probably see it in a lot of anime too. Exactly. Mm. Even if you don't know a lot of words in Japanese, you can use this technique. Yeah. But yeah, with that said, this is going to do it for today's class. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Drop them in the comment section what you like to learn. Okay? Is there any questions about Japanese? So you guys can get this shirt on my website. It's a shibajin. It says shibajin this. I'm a shiba person. It says shibajin. Shibajin this. It's a unique shirt. We like being different. So that's why we created these shirts so we can. So you can so we can spread the message. Be a weave, you know. Be a otaku, ne? Be a nerd, you know. Who who cares, you know? So it's like that. Just be different. Thank you so much for watching again. We will see you in the next episode. Peace out. Have a fantastic day. Hmm.